In tonight's Health Beat, researchers at UT Dell Medical School are embarking on a study to protect the brains of young epilepsy patients who require surgery. And they'll be using gaming to help do this. And so when the surgeon goes in, no matter how accurately they uh, treat, you know, surgically treat, there is a risk of causing collateral damage. And this collateral damage, while it can cure the epilepsy or significantly improve the epilepsy, there's damage afterwards where the hand doesn't move as well, or there's a loss of some memory, language, perceptions, et cetera. Dr. David Paytafar is a professor of neurology at Dell Medical School at UT Austin. He's heading up a three-year study on preventing that collateral damage in patients who have intractable epilepsy, where seizures don't respond to medication and surgery on the epileptic center of the brain is the only option. They plan to do that by using multimodal gaming technology, incorporating movement via treadmills to influence neuroplasticity, essentially rewiring the brain. It's sort of the opposite of recovery after a stroke. We're doing it before the surgery, so it's prevented. It. Patients will be referred to the epilepsy center at Dell Children's. UT Austin scientists will then work with the clinicians where standard care and evaluations will continue, and the team will learn where the epileptic circuit is. Prior to surgery, patients will undergo a month or two of intense training with gaming tailored to each patient. And we would watch using imaging and electrical recordings, we would see where the circuits are firing when they're doing the gaming and see if we can move even by a millimeter away from the, the epileptic site. A team of engineers, neuroscientists, neurologists, and doctors who specialize in epilepsy are getting ready for the study. By early 2022, they hope to begin training patients with the first surgeries happening in the spring.